Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 20. Okay, the previous episode we finally reached Sun Jewel and um, two things happened. The first thing was we met a captain. Um, I can't remember his name and I can't remember even if he mentioned his name or not. But we met the captain and he, like, there's, there's a mystery surrounding him because he has uh, like Eden's, I think one, it was written in his uh, hand and that means like i don't know like somehow connected to ziggy who knows so that's one thing and uh, like and he he's he knows he knows a lot of things and he's really one of the, uh, like you know one of the greatest i'm guessing captains because he was really able to uh, shorten the three day strip into a single like a few hours or something so that was uh, the thing that he did and like impressive so that's that was what was with him and then we get to the next scene, uh, portion where um shiki and like you know the crew goes to the cas casino yeah casino and uh <laughs> a robbery happens and do because of stopping that they get arrested because they unleashed violence like what so yeah and another thing that happened which was uh, i'm guessing that was the queen of this place i'm not so sure but that lady she has ties with um Drakenzo. so that's another thing so a few things happened and let's see and like there was like it's ended in a kind of like a cliffhanger where the like you know they kind of got annihilated or something it seemed as if uh kagura and shiki but i'm sure they were transported somewhere else so let's just see what uh, this episode brings so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 20 of eden zero so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go. oh corner okay hmm Sentenced to 100,000 metals. They're fine. They're probably transported some. Uh, there you go. Sub criminals. Oh, that's what they meant by 100,000 metals. Oh, okay. I'm guessing they were not killed because. Madam Kurenai. I'm guessing that it were not killed because they kind of stopped them. The okay. Um. So the thing that I was trying to say. Uh, so I'm guessing they were not killed outright because they basically um stopped the robbers. And the robbers were the people who actually committed a crime and used violence. So they were killed at the spot. But Shiki and Homura, they unleashed violence, but they stopped the robbers. So I'm guessing that's why they were just sentenced to some labor. Most probably that was that. Another thing, um, I, I, like, I prefer uh, the, like, you know, the Kurenai, the, the name that they're using now. Like in the previous episode, they were saying something like, the red woman or something i can't remember what was that the the scarlet woman i think that was they were calling her but yeah scarlet means good and i so but i think i prefer the like good and i as a name <laughs> you know so And one thing, like she's wearing um, uh, Miss Kuranai. She's wearing a uh, that's a uh, that's a kimono, wasn't it? So I don't know. Let's just see. Like I was thinking, like is, was she Japanese or something? <laughs> just like Homura. Homura also wears a you know uh, yukata, I think. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Damn! Oh, they have a little thing in their neck. 
Oh boy. Oh, it's, it's to keep a track on how much metal they mined. Ooh, what the? Whoa! They're like bugs. Oh my god, she's just going to freak out. Yeah, oh lord. <laughs> it's the only weakness. Oh, are they're mining, I think. There's little things in their back. Oh, are these? Oh, okay, this is how you mine this. Interesting. Uh, whoa. Ah! Oh my god, Shiki, Shiki won't be able to mine anyone, anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the mining with the guns. That doesn't even make any sense, but I guess. <laughs> okay, interesting way to mine, I have to say. What in the cosmos? <laughs> yeah, Shiki won't be able to mine. Ah, uh, this is a problem. I thought they were going to mine... Oh, wait a minute. Is this where we saw that guy before with that owl? Is he a miner? Valkyrie was... That means Valkyrie is also here. Okay. There, there are more of... Stones. Hmm. Yeah. So all of these people had done some, committed some crime before, or were falsely acquitted. Madam Kurenai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe there are some better ones. Yeah. Okay. Shiki might be able to do that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, she, she might be able to find her here. Like we saw Valkyrie here before. Oh whoa, what the? Oh my god. Oh, is this a boss type of person here? <laughs> the gang leader? I think so. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he, okay. Okay, Shiki is here. Benz, Benzaiten Garot. So, Shiki can handle it. Oh yeah, this thing. Wait, what? They can unleash violence on weekend? Whoa, whoa, I was not... Oh, great. Oh no, it's paralyzed. Ooh. Oh, great. Ah. 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 Oh, my God. Come on. 
Oh, great. Wow, it's another scumbag. Shut up. Wow. Good choice of stuff Miss Kuranai has. Ugh. Oh no, taking hostage is great. Oh wow! Oh great, wow, I, I yeah, this guy. What? Ah! <laughs> Um, he's still, he's still numb. Oh God. Oh, damn it. What the? Um, wait, this guy looks like... This guy looks like uh, one of those guys in Fairy Tale, you remember? Those three guys? I can't remember the name. What? What? Oh my god. Uh, um, wh what's happening here? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Certified butler. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh! Wait, what? Um, wow, she's evil. Yeah, she's evil. Hmm. What? <laughs> mm, Dragon's all. Ether drive. Oh, really? Oculus thirty percent. That's quite low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She seems like one of those people. Like I want everything. <laughs> oh. I Oh, are these the bigger ones? I think. Yeah, that must be. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. <laughs> Wait, was she playing a video game or something? No. <laughs> okay. Now, what will she do from here? Like, this is like. Hmm. Whoa, who's this? Oh, is this? Oh my god, I forgot her name. What was her name? Labilia? I think. That was his, her name? Yeah, Labilia, okay. <laughs> okay, why am I not surprised to see her here? <laughs> god. Oh boy. Oh, she knows that. Yeah, you have to commit a crime, I guess. Oh, okay. Um. Um. Okay. <laughs> I can probably guess what her favor will be. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's that. Okay, I was on. Whoopee! <laughs> oh, because of that, she. Okay. Hmm, kind of. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. What? Wait, what? That's... <laughs> Is he like the... Oh... Nino! <laughs> yeah... Oh, okay... <laughs> yes, Elpheus. Contract. What? Whoa, this whole script. Not always, like, uh, <clears throat> depends. Like sometimes people actually like to see, like, no, full on <laughs> raw acting. Uh. Yeah. 
Oh no, I... Last request. <laughs> oh great. Oh wow. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Wow, that was what she was planning. Great. Great. Okay, I can get it what she's trying to do. Oh boy. Well, that was a trick. Yeah, she just wanted to embarrass her. God. Well, what's, what's with being uh, 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 Nino? Ah. I kind of thought that she really was kind of <sighs> Rank video great Wow, these people here. Yeah, like these people. Yeah. Wow. Okay, this is outrageous. Okay. Oh. Wait, he knows. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Okay, what was his name? I forgot again. Nino? I, yeah, I think. Oh, great. Oh, great. Ugh. Yeah. Wait, really? Oh. Ugh. Come on, someone, please come and help. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Whoever that is. Oh, wait, Shiggy. He came so quickly. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, thank God. I thought that someone else was going to come. I was not expecting she to come so quickly. Because, <laughs> like, the way they kind of, like, build this up is like, oh, like, uh, Homura is captured. It'll take three episodes for Shiki to go there. You know, <laughs> it kind of build it up like that when Shiki said that, like, like just to wait, Homura, I'll go, like, you know, I'll catch up with you. Usually, it kind of, like, animals kind of do that. Like, you know, like, someone gets captured. And, like, you know, three, four episodes later, the other person, like, you know, actually <laughs> are able to come to the scene and save the person. So, it's good that Shiki came here so quickly. <laughs> oh my god. I was expecting uh, the, the, that guy, the one with the owl, to come pop up here and help her or something. Because she, she, he was kind of, like, you know, um, uh, keeping an eye on them. And I'm guessing she, he's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, involved with Valkyrie like I also thought maybe Valkyrie would come and save her but that kind of scene like seems a little anticlimactic so I thought that guy would probably come here and save her or something like that would happen but yeah Shiki Shiki is here so that also works <clears throat> oh 
Ah, oh, boy. Okay, that was it. Yes. All right, this episode here. Um. Okay, let's see. First of all, yeah, Homura and Shiki gets captured. They get to a cave where there are bugs. So now th this is very interesting. Like you know, I was when they said like they had to mine. I thought that uh, wait, so that means uh, they'll have to mine rocks. And then we suddenly see these type of little bugs with their <laughs> things <laughs> on, the top, on, on their back. And uh, like, <clears throat> yeah, like that's very unique, I have to say. Like, you know, like, like little bugs going around with little things in their, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, back. And you have to like destroy them to get the uh, uh, metals. And kind of... <laughs> It kind of uh, like reminds me of a video game. I can't remember which one, but it kind of reminds me of that. And uh, it's kind of interesting. The thing now it's kind of like a what do you call it? Like as I said, a video game where there's like level one uh, enemies, and there are like level ten enemies, and then level twenty enemies, like you know, bigger and bigger. And uh, like you know, like uh, the more stronger the enemy is, the more uh, metals you'll get. So. Now, you know what I think happened here? Um, there was a little scene in the middle where we see a big creature. I think, I think that was probably like one of the bigger enemies which probably gives out a lot of metals. I think Shiki probably like went and defeated these kind of things and like you know kind of uh, like just gathered a lot of metals to... Wait a minute, let me see. Just a sec. Does he have the collar in his neck? The last scene, I'm, I'm trying to, just a sec, uh, yeah, he has the collar, okay, now, no, I, I was actually thinking maybe he cleared his quota, you know, he cleared his, uh, the amount of, uh, metals that he was supposed to gather quickly, and maybe that's how he's here or something, I don't know, we'll probably see in the next episode, he did something in, within this little amount of time that he had, and, yeah, probably, uh, we'll see in the next episode what he actually did. All right, anyways, so yeah, when we get to this mine place, there's, there's a lot of other miners. Shiki's afraid of bugs. <laughs> but thankfully, there are like bigger creatures who gives out a lot more metals than the bugs. And uh, now, here's the thing here. Mm. At the beginning, not beginning. Yeah, also in the beginning and also in the previous episode, I thought mm, Madame Kurnai would be one of those characters who are, mm, what do you call it? has a very warped sense of justice. I thought she was one of those characters. Uh, that's why, as soon as, like, you know, I was not expecting something like this. As soon as I saw that the people here, the warden, I'm guessing, here is actually, you know, beating up the other people. Now, then I thought, then what I thought was, okay, maybe Miss Queen I doesn't know what's happening here. No? Uh, <clears throat> But then as soon as, like, you know, like, I thought maybe this is, was a place where Madame Quinan doesn't know what's happening and the wardens kind of do whatever the hell they want to. And, uh, like, you know, it's like a place where, uh, like, fights happen, it doesn't matter. Uh, like, kind of like a rowdy place. But then, then, then I thought that, okay, maybe, like, if it works that way, then it's good. Because Shiki, can, Shiki and Homura can also fight. You know, unleash, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, their violence here and defeat the guy. Well, it, it didn't work because, first of all, uh, he, like, he can bully other people, but when people might come and actually attack him, he will bring up, bring down the, those, those uh, flying guards that they have, you know? The, like, and they'll take hostages. That's one of the most scummiest thing, and, like, that means basically he he has the full like you know he has the full control of to do whatever the hell he wants to with all of these people here but anyone else cannot uh like you know uh, protest against that that's basically it that's what but what's happening here like people are at his whims over in this place so now <clears throat> like that's and then after the next uh, after that the next scene comes in i think uh where we see uh, Miss Kurenai uh, and that guy 
and he like she you know actually she uh, burns the guy's face that's when i realized that okay like i my impression of madame quinn was a little bit wrong like i thought she was just a lady who had a warped sense of justice like you know like you know those characters who like wants to uh like you know wants justice to prevail so much that they themselves kind of become a uh like you know a what do you call a cruel type of a person that type of a person i thought she was but no she's she's plain evil like i could see from from that scene when she actually burns the face of that guy and when she says that oh i'm going to like you know i'm going to trick drac and joe and get everything for myself and that type of like you know thing so yeah she's evil that means i think so at least i don't know she might have like some sad backstory <laughs> like that's usually what happens i i'm not so sure but for now yeah she she she's she's a bad person <laughs> so like so yeah like it, so, so, so the, the people who are actually working under her would also be like that. So I guess like these people who are actually bullying the others, yeah, they they're like they doesn't care because even if I'm guessing even if Kud and I, Madam Kud and I gets to know what's happening here, she wouldn't care. She would just say that yeah, like do whatever the hell you want to. I don't care. She would be something like that. So yeah, it's a messed up situation. <clears throat> okay, anyways, um, so this guy here. Is he first of all he stuns the people like you know Shiki and Rebecca uh, not Rebecca sorry Shiki and Homura and then when she probably would have been able to do and still do something in that situation but he takes hostage of the all of the other guys like oh god and uh, yeah the, the way everything was building up like you know Shiki said that okay just you wait I thought that it was going to take a lot of time <laughs> for them to actually go and save uh, Homura but Thankfully, like at the at the ending of the episode, we see Shiki actually reaching them, so that's a good thing. Like these type of situations kind of annoy me a little bit, you know. Like when these type of situations come in, where there's like this person who gets kidnapped or whatever, and like you know gets captured, and then like you know they say that just you wait, you know, I'll come and save you, and then it takes ten episodes for that catch character to actually reach her or him and save that person, so those type of situations really annoy me because yeah i don't like them like it's, it's, it's like a constant uh what do you call it um it's like constant stress <laughs> like oh my god what's going to happen oh my god what's going to happen so those type of situations i really don't like them so i thought that it'll probably take two or three episodes because uh, like it's like the 20th episode i'm guessing this anime will have 24 or 25 or 26 episodes I thought that it will take two or three episodes for them to actually reach Homura. Thankfully, Shiki reached her quite quickly. And I'm guessing <clears throat> they're going to show whatever happened in that section, you know, in that little, small little time skip that they had. You know, like when Homura got captured and, like, you know, and then Shiki comes and tries to save her. Uh, in the middle of it, whatever happened, I'm, getting, I'm guessing we're going to see it in a fl flashback or something in the upcoming episodes. That's how they're going to do. And I think that's, that's a good thing. Uh, in a way because it kind of keeps the suspense or whatever <laughs> what what Shiki did to actually reach there you know that type of a suspense but anyways um that was that and then uh, we get to the next section of Kurenai Miss Qu Madam Kurenai um <clears throat> selecting her attendance or whatever she was doing there and this guy here um I said this before but I think he kind of reminds me of uh, one of those three uh, guys you know in fairy tale uh, I forgot their name. Um, I think one of their name was Hibiki. That's all I remember. There were other two other guys. So it kind of like you know looks like that. Those guys in a way. But yeah. Okay. And then. <laughs> uh, then Kure and I like you know says that uh, like you know like uh, come closer and all that stuff. <laughs> this guy as prideful as he is and like you know like. Uh, <laughs> That was a, one of the biggest, what can I say, bait that Kuren and I like, you know, did. Like, she said, like, you know, remove your clothes and come closer. And that guy, like, I'm sure, like, he, he is very, what can I say, accustomed to these type of attention that female gives, gives him. So he thought that, ah, this lady is one of those ladies. So, like, I can use my usual, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> usual charms to actually charm her. And he, he got like, you know, too ahead of himself and 
<laughs> he goes there and actually touches her, which was one of the biggest mistake that he committed there. Because, yeah, she she's basically the queen here, and like what you are doing here is a complete violation of the rules. I'm guessing. So he does that, and yeah, like he did not realize that Quina is not those type of people. He he she's a crazy person. <laughs> Crazy with her own uh, ego, I think. Ego or her, like, you know, she's, she's, I, th I think she's quite a, quite a narcissist in a way. Like, I can kind of see it in her. Like, you know, she kind of said that, like, you know, how dare you touch me, you know, with your filthy hands or what did she say? Um, just a second. Um, yeah, the, it's vulgar to touch me without permission. Uh, so. <clears throat> Yeah, and now the thing that she does after that was kind of very evil. Like, he actually burns his face, the face which is the main source of his, um, what do you call it, livelihood. And uh, main source of you know, the job he does, uh, main, main thing. So, that was bad, you know. And I don't know what's going to happen to him, but anyways. And so she does this. Occasionally tries to pick out attendance just like this. I'm guessing and I'm guessing <laughs> Since she is so prideful and egotistical She has I'm guessing she has not selected a person and probably like same similar things happened before like you know She did not like the people and just you know harmed them or something or I Don't know but yeah, like and she says that bring more people with to me to be my attendant but and then she like the, we get to know her actual plan. She wants to uh, get Eden's zero because of the ether drive, and that'll be like a huge bo boost to her, uh, you know, economical situation. I'm guessing. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so she she's trying to trick Drakenzo. I don't know how that is, that is going to go, and. <laughs> Like the, the thing that she said after that perfectly sums up her personality like she says that oh 30 percent that's not a good like you know that's not a number that i like i don't like anything you know else than 100 percent so that pretty much sums up her personality like, as far as i can say like yeah she she loves herself too much she is very prideful and um cruel in a way so <sighs> i don't know Anyways, okay, that was that, and then we get to the next uh, scene of uh, like something they planned out. I'm guessing Weiss and uh, Hermit, which is probably going to help them go and track track Rebecca and Vicky and Homura down. And then we get to the next infuriating scene of Lavilia. Now, I thought that Lavilia changed a little, like you know, and. I don't know, like, I thought maybe, like, you know, like, she, I don't know, you know, she kind of changed, she said that, okay, like, you know, like, let's do some collab, both of us will um, benefit from this, and you do the magical girl thing, it was all, you know, nice, in a way, the thing that, the proposal that she was saying, and everything was going well, and we also meet the guy, uh, what was his name, N N Nino? Just a sec, let me check out his name. Nino, yeah, Nino. I'm going to miss, like, you know, I'm going to mix up his name with Pino so much. Nino, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, <clears throat> all right, and then, uh, yeah, they do the little thing, the whole magical girl thing, and the script thing. She goes up, and Labelia humiliates her. So, Honestly speaking, I was not expecting this. You know, I really was not expecting it. And you know what? Uh, if this was something like I don't know, that like what makes this worse is not the thing that she pranked her. The thing that she said afterwards is what it ma it makes it worse. Because you know, like if this was something like a harmful little prank, and you know, like YouTubers do this, like like. Well, like set up something and pranks the other person and then they say ah like you know chill out bro it's a prank <laughs> it's a prank <laughs> it's a prank bro so that whole thing and 
like you know usually they kind of involve their friends their uh, you know even their girlfriend or boyfriends so that happens and later on they kind of apologize and like you know they're like all like let's like forgive each other and that's all there to it, it uh, that's all that it, it is like that's that's that and it, it ends there but what Lavilia does here is the thing that is the worst in this situation that she humiliates her. Like she pranks her with a slime and after this if she was like haha like you know Rebecca you got pranked you know like and like you know like uh, this is just like a little trick that I did I'm sorry you know like this is just for the views and like you know they said that I apologize and like if, they, if she did something like that I'd be like, okay, it was kind of bad, like, you know, you, they tricked her in front of the live camera. But, you know, that's what most of, like, a lot of YouTubers do, and I think that is okay. You know, I would have been like, okay, fine. I f we forgive you. But no, what she does after that is the, is the worst thing that she could ever do. She, she just, like, says that, haha, you're like, you know, like, how dare you, how dare you think that you can become big. And stuff like that she starts saying like I, I wanted to teach you a lesson and she's laughing and all the other people are laughing like that was that was bad that was one of the worst parts of this whole thing if this was just a harmless little prank and she apologized after that it would have been okay but no she had to humiliate her and not only that she has the audacity after that to say that I won't tell you the way to the uh, to the labor district and uh, gives a little hey hey smile and runs away. Wow, whoa, what? <sighs> you know what? Like, I can't be mad at her at her because she seems like the person who has never what can I say uh, encountered any hardships. She's one of those spoiled, uh, like you know, spoiled brats that we see. Like her personality kind of seems like that and. That's why I, I, like, you know, it's infuriating, but I don't know, like, I can't really get angry at her because that's just for who she is. Like, there, there exists these type of people, like, you know, these type of people who thinks that, yeah, like, I'm better than everybody. And, like, you know, like, it's, it's actually, like, what can I say, really, uh, like, weird to see, like, how much they actually are, what do you call it, like, prideful of themselves. You know, it's comical to actually see the extent of pride that they have for themselves and they're so what can I say like I don't know like it's so out of the loop like they don't have any kind of um, what do you call it sense of what's right and wrong like that type of sense doesn't even exist in them and like like these type of people they exist and I'm guessing that's Lavilia here, you know, like I'm sure she she doesn't even realize the thing that she did here. You know how insulting was it it was for actually to do something like this in front of so many people, and how like you know uh, insensitive it was for her to do this. I'm guessing she she's just having fun. She's like a little kid. She's like, haha, I pranked you. Uh, you, you were getting like you know like, like you know those little ki like you know little kids when in, in, in the I'm guessing primary school or something when they kind of like bully each other like uh, kind of you know like you know trick each other prank each other and like you know like you know like I've seen in a lot of animes like kids are like that like I also I think I remember a few stuff in my school happening to like you know little kids bullying each other and when I when, when I was little as well so like like, like that's why, like, you know, like they, they say, like kids, kids are ruthless, and but what actually happens after that is they start growing up. They actually gets to learn that okay, like this thing that I did, this not okay at all. It hurts the other person, and it it's also insensitive, insensitive of myself. They start gaining, uh, you know, knowledge from obviously their parents, their teachers. They teach them what is right, what is wrong, and all of these things, and they start like you know changing, and they become a. Uh, good type of a person in the future and then later on they kind of remember what they did as a kid and they would be like oh my god like why did I even do that why was I why was I so cruel and that's what actually happens but like you know like but Labilia here is she, she's still that kid and she's still that kid who just like messes around with people just for her own fun doesn't care about what other people think and she's just so full of himself herself
that's Lavilia. And that's why, you know, I said that I, I really can't get mad at her because that's just her. You know, that's her personality. Like, if you actually, like, if someone goes and tells her that, you know, like, you know, this is what you did and this is not right. You should not do this. She, w I'm sure she would be confused. She would be like, why? Like, you know, like, I, I just, like, did this for fun. Like, you know, like, she has, like, the concept of good and bad, I think that doesn't exist in her. She's such a kid. So that's why I can't get angry at her because that's just her. I think so at least. So the thing that she did was very outrageous and I hate it. But I don't know. She she seems like a person who 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 doesn't have the concept of what is right and what is wrong. She just doesn't have that, I think. And hopefully she gets a lesson later on. She teaches like you know, she learns it in some way and like you know like like, like the thing that i said that she has no like you know like what do you call it she doesn't have any idea what's normal and what's not normal that also kind of is proved by one of the previous episode where she you know gets messed with those guys you know that, that try to kidnap her and she just says that oh like you know like you guys like uh, she tells that her bodyguards to just go and teach them a lesson and when they are unable, unable, unable to do that, she's like, 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 that's what it is. Like, she's, she's a sheltered person, as far as I could say. She's a sheltered uh, princess type of a person. And she, she really doesn't understand what's right and what's wrong, what's normal and what's all that. stuff. Anyways, I've been talking about her for quite a long while. But <laughs> you can probably understand what I'm trying to say. She, she's just like this. And I don't think this is going to change. And I'm sure she'll come later on in the future and like try to mess with, like, you know, Rebecca again. So, yeah, like she she needs to be taught a lesson. I don't know how, but somehow, like she needs to learn it that whatever she's doing, like whatever that she is doing to other people, she needs to get the taste of that own medicine herself. And I think that's going to change her. I don't know if that's going to happen, but let's see. Anyways, that was Labilia. That was a very bad type of a situation. Like, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I at least expected her to say where the labor district is. But she didn't even do that. That's, that's more outrageous. Anyways, but thankfully, um, Nino was here. Yeah, Nino, that was his name. And she seems, he seems like a nice guy. So hopefully he'll help Rebecca. And yeah, and then we get to the next scene. Uh, oh, another interesting thing that we get to know is that when your hand is like, you know, like unable to move your hand or something, ether gear won't work. That's interesting because as he, as he said that, uh, yeah, if you want to use it, you got to be able to use your hands. So that's interesting. So that means is it similar with Shiki? Like if his hand is like tied up like this, he won't be able to do anything? That's one of the biggest weaknesses that I can see here. Like, that's a real big weakness. So, I don't know. Anyways, um, okay, that was that. And then in comes Shiki. Now, this is what I'm saying. Like, you know, like Shiki must have done something. You know, we kind of saw a little scene in the middle where there was a big monster. So I'm thinking like she maybe, she maybe, I don't know, like, gathered up a lot of metals and did something to actually reach here so yeah let's just wait for it uh the next episode oh boy this episode was stressful in a lot of ways so yeah like the, the first thing that happened is like homura gets captured that's one stress point the second stress point is when we uh, like you know the the, the scene where um, what was that? Uh, Rebecca gets humiliated, and yeah. Oh God! But anyways, yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to Eden Zero episode number twenty. My God, I've been talking for quite a while. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.